Today I'm going to share some tips with you on how to keep your camera stable. Whether it's using a fluid head tripod, a weight, or an actual shoulder support for your camera. All of them are all different types of tools. Some of them aren't even really a tool. This is a weight. So, um, but they're all really important how to keep your shot stable. I'm going to show you guys how I use each one individually. So the first tool I'm going to talk about is my tripod. I use it 95% of the time, um, probably more than that actually. First thing I'll look at when I'm using my tripod is, is where I'm putting it. If I'm putting it on cement, I'll keep the normal feet on it. If I'm putting it in dirt, I usually take the feet off and there's little spikes that are on the bottom of your tripod. It helps the tripod to get grounded and stay really stable. That's my main concern is to make sure the tripod is stable. Often I use a spreader and if you don't have a spreader, it doesn't matter. I just try and get my tripod legs to be as wide as possible. To me, the wider it gets, the more stable it is. And then you're actually able to move and think more about your shot. So wherever your shot begins and wherever your shot ends, you'll have more room to move around within the actual legs of the tripod. So now that you got your tripod all set up, the first thing I'll do is, is I'll practice the shot without the skater even in it. I want to figure out where the end point is and the out point is. Next, I know it sounds kind of obvious, but the next thing I'll do is, is I'm going to imagine where I'm going to be at the end of the shot. I don't want to get in the way of the tripod doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is keeping the shot smooth. Nine times out of ten when I'm using my tripod, I'm zooming. I like to keep it really basic. So what I do is, is my right hand's controlling the handle and my left hand is zooming on the zoom wheel. Um, some people like to get their hand underneath the handle and use the zoom rockers. I find that that is too ergonomically wrong uh, and you could kind of get tangled up in there. So for me what works out best is left hand on the zoom ring, right hand just controlling the camera making sure I'm getting really smooth pans. Also when using your tripod you're going to want to make sure to turn the steady shot off whether it's called OIS, IS, VC, no matter if it's on your lens or in your camera, make sure to turn the stabilization off. It'll turn your shots into real jerky movements and it'll totally not make sense why you're actually using a tripod. In example one, the steady shot is turned on and the camera is overcompensating. The camera doesn't understand it's on a tripod, so any movement you make, it starts jerking around everywhere. Example two, we turn steady shot off and we're letting the tripod fluid head do all the work and get that nice smooth pan. There's a ton of different tripods out there. My recommendation to you would be is to get a fluid head tripod. It's just gonna help your whole movement, your whole pan, everything be that much smoother. There's actually hydraulics inside of them to adjust the tension left to right or uh, top to bottom, just giving you that smoother pan. They are pricey, but they're completely worth it. Uh, it'll up the value of your production and it'll just help you feel a little bit more professional. So filming skating is really sporadic and the situation is always changing. Another way I like to stay prepared is by keeping the quick release plate on my camera at all times, so I'm prepared for any type of situation. I can go handheld, or if I want to really quickly, I could throw it on my tripod. So another tool I have here is my version of a steady shot. It's really easy to make. Uh, I went to Home Depot, got a quarter 20 screw, about five inches long, and a two and a half pound weight. I only use this tool when I'm filming rolling long lens and I'm trying to get as low as possible. It's not so low that it's gonna scrape the ground, but it's long enough to where I can get my hands underneath the camera, get a good grip on it, and just be staring into my LCD screen. Using a weight like this is perfect to help keep your camera from rocking back and forth, left to right, up or down. It basically just helps the camera become even steadier. When I'm filming rolling long lens and I'm not filming low to the ground, I'm filming a little bit higher, I'll often use the bracket system that comes with the rails if you have the fisheye. It has a shoulder mount or shoulder support. Um, kind of put that right there on my shoulder, open the LCD screen, and basically just try and make it as steady as possible. If you don't have this piece, but you have like a little mini tripod, it's the same type of, same type of thing. You just screw this in the bottom of your camera and just basically try and get that in as tight as you can to your shoulder and use your body as a stabilizer. And remember, when you take your camera off your tripod, be sure to turn the OIS, steady shot, stabilization, whatever your camera or lens has, make sure to turn it on. It's gonna help out in any of the handheld shots and it'll help out with any of the rolling long lens shots as well.
All right, so there you have it. Those are my three tools on how I keep my camera stable. You know, this one right here comes with the rails and the fisheye you get. If you don't have this one, you can use a little mini tripod. These things are pretty inexpensive. Works kind of the same way. The other one, I mean, go to a hardware store. It's about a dollar, you know, buy a weight, $2, really cheap. Um, the one that costs a little bit more, but I can't stress enough on is the fluid head. This thing is gonna save your life. Um, it does take some getting used to, and just go ahead and keep practicing, keep practicing, and once you get used to it, you probably won't put it away. And remember, there's no wrong or right. These are just some of the tools that work for me. Whether it's a video camera or an SLR, hopefully some of these tips will help you get steadier shots.